Facebook's desire to privatize the public while imagining that it is serving the public goes back to the counterculture of the 1960s. In the United States, and I, I think maybe in France, but certainly in the United States, there was a split between a political counterculture that sought to change the political world by doing politics. This is the new left, forming political parties, forming movements, marching against the war. The other wing of the counterculture here in the Bay Area was against politics. And this wing of the counterculture believed that business and technology were the proper ways to change the world. So this is the whole earth catalog crowd, Wired Magazine crowd, ultimately some of the neoliberals associated with Newt Gingrich in, in Washington. What I think you're seeing, Al, or maybe seeing, I don't know your particular case, but, but what I see at Facebook is a deep faith that politics is broken and that business and technology are the proper way to make social change. The only distinction between the kind of thing you're looking at and, and Facebook perhaps is the profit model. I think Facebook workers, the ones I talk to, at least if they've been there a short time, fully believe that Facebook is a, is, a, is a system for making a more benevolent social world, for connecting everyone, for making community instead of crazy government state-sponsored madness. Okay, but as a company, of course, it is wholly controlled by Mark Zuckerberg. It has a two-tier stock structure so that he literally personally, individually has veto power on every single decision in the company. It is a totalitarian structure. From the counterculture forward, I've see, I'm seeing the effort to um, blend business and technology to do politics, but it keeps producing these companies that are sort of authoritarian, both internal in, in terms of internal structure and in terms of their long-term effect. Anyways, I think we're looking at two sides of, the, of a similar coin and it's rooted in the counterculture of the 1960s.